it is possible to also incorporate what they call screen dumps or screenshots into a Word document. Let's have a look. If you go to the Insert tab in the ribbon, you'll notice that there's a button in the Illustrations group called Screenshot. Now when I click that button, what it does is it gives me a list of all the windows I currently have open in the background. And I can just insert any particular window I have open in the back. Or you have the option Screen Clipping here. Now if I click Screen Clipping, I'm able to actually take a copy of the screen. And if I press Escape, I can undo. What I'd like to do instead of using the screenshot or the screen clipping is show you that you can achieve the same thing with something called the snipping tool. Now the snipping tool is an accessory that comes with windows. If you were to go to your start button and then all programs and accessories, you would encounter the snipping tool. And if you were to click the snipping tool, you'll find your screen goes very dim like this. And this little window appears as well. The snipping tool allows you to then drag from one diagonal corner to the other diagonal corner. So I'm going to take a screen clipping of this picture here by dragging around it. I've now taken a copy of that smart art as a picture. And so then I can actually go edit, copy, and I can go to my Word document and I can paste that picture. Paste. This is a live smart art that can be altered this is a picture of the smart art. The difference being, then nobody can alter the diagram. It's a picture. Or, let's delete that. Perhaps I want to take a copy of just parts of this picture. I'll go back to my snipping tool. And I'll go new, because I want to create a new snip. And this time I want to take a snip of just this level here. So I drag around it, and there's a copy of it. And I'll go Edit, Copy, and then I'll Paste. And then I can add any text that I want to add. So I might perhaps put, get in front of it and add, This is the lower level. Now, when I press Enter, I may need to move this picture. So I'm going to set its text wrapping option to top and bottom and then drag it easily underneath that title. So again, if your pictures aren't behaving, then you need to actually apply um, wrap text. And then I'll put this is, excuse me, this is the top position. Now I want to take a copy of that, so I'll use my snipping tool, new, and I'll grab a copy of this. Edit copy, click where I want to put it, and go paste. And it sits where I want it, so I don't need to worry about the wrap text, but it doesn't hurt to go top and bottom. So this is the top position, this is the middle position. Oops, let's just move that up. This is the top position, this is the middle position, so now I need my snipping tool, new, and I want to take a copy of the middle positions. Edit, copy, and I'll paste that in here. So the whole idea is I can say this is the top position, this is the middle position, this is the lower level, and then I can bring it all together and say, and I might actually take a copy of this as a picture, so I'll use the snipping tool, new, and I'll take a copy of this entire diagram, edit, copy, oops, and put This is the entire team, and paste. So the snipping tool is really good at allowing you to capture a part of the screen or a part of an image and copy and paste it into a document. It also allows you to save that particular snipping. So this snip here, I could actually go File, Save As, and save that snip maybe to my desktop and call it the team. And so I've created a JPEG file, which is a picture file called the team. And I can save it for future use. So you can save a snip, you can capture a snip, and you can even share it. If I wanted to share it, I would actually send it to somebody via email, either as an attachment or embedded in the body of the email. 
Very easy. So the snipping tool is an accessory that you will find in your window start button under accessories, under all programs and accessories. If you wish to take a copy of the entire screen, also be aware of the fact that you have a print screen button on your keyboard. If you hit the print screen button on your keyboard, you will take a copy of your entire screen. Then I'll position myself and I will then paste. Control V and I've pasted a picture of my entire screen. Now as you can see here, I've got two screens and so it takes the entire desktop. If you only want to take a picture of the current window, then go Alt Print Screen. And then when I go Paste, you'll find it will only take a copy of the window you've clicked on. So if you have two monitors or an extended desktop, the Print Screen button will take the entire desktop. If you want to take just a print screen of a particular window, doesn't matter what window it is, or dialog box, click that window or dialog box, hold the Alt key and hit the print screen. Alt print screen will give you just that window. Let me demonstrate one more time. If I was to go to Home and hit Font and I'm writing a document about this, I'll go Alt print screen, Cancel, and then I'll go Paste. And there is just that one screen. So very, very useful tools for doing screen captures and manipulating images.